Hello everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some RimWorld, shall we? Well, the first thing I want to do before I even get into this awesome game is to just say, my goodness, everyone, thank you so much for commenting in the YouTube comments and giving me so much advice talking to each other clarifying points it is super super helpful a lot of my dwarf fortress inclinations are coming to fruition and i'm still using that as my main point of reference but there are definitely um peculiarities and uh idiosyncrasies that are germane only to this game that i'm learning as i go so uh Point, Hella, Fading at the Edges, Little Timmy, Sorolin, Anchor, Manto, my goodness, everybody. Thank you so much for all of your advice. Clappy, uh, L-O-A-S, this is really, really useful stuff and detailed stuff that you guys have been giving me and I'm excited to put it into practice. So let's see if I can do this right away. So number one, down here in the lower right, I do see that it says toggle room stat displays and um, I can now like, it says it will display the room stats of the room where the mouse is pointing. So for example, this is the barracks and now on the mouse tooltip, I'm getting more information about its impressiveness, its wealth, its space, its beauty, and its cleanliness. And it's bad in pretty much every respect, but it's because of the fact that, um, you know, I don't have high technology, uh, and there's a lot of work to do. But now I can see that. Um, I think that as people are working right now, like, what are you doing? You're... Uh, resting. You're going to haul some wood to finish this, I assume. And then you are uh, going to eat a simple meal from here. Okay. I love that you can see their path, by the way. Like, what they're going to. Um, and, you know, their destination. It's great. It's great. So, uh, there's some things that we're, we want to set up. Some systems I want to get going. And one of those right away is hunting. Now, myself, um, I don't like harming animals, uh, or I don't like really harming anything if I can avoid it. Um, and even if I can't, I, I go out of my way to just make that the last resort. Um, but in this digital space of the game, I have to appreciate the fact that uh, we are stranded and we need some things. Uh, like food and leather. And so I am going to set up some hunting to happen. We're playing Oregon Trail here, people. We're going to hunt. So it is kind of like in Dwarf Fortress, and it's just like I've designated areas for chopping trees and for uh, cutting plants. If I go into um, zone... No, no, no. Um orders here we go there's a whole order for hunting so it isn't just enough to like give people a gun and tell them to hunt you have to tell them where to hunt and this is smart because i don't want them like wandering around the entire map and finding some kind of like dragon or something to go deal with that's way too much oh what's this it's a turkey um but i do want them hunting like you know raccoons and squirrels and things that are pretty low-key and so we want to hunt but in order to process the food that we're going to acquire through hunting i'm going to need to have some workshops set up to do that i don't have a butchery place i have like a workshop that is uh awful mediocre average ugly and dirty so funny but we need to make another one um that's for butchery so that we can like maybe 
get hides and at least get meat so we can prepare meals from it. We do have a bunch of rice that's going to grow in, and so the food isn't as dire, but I have to imagine that leather is going to be a resource that I need for crafting things in the future, the very least of which would be like good armor and clothing. But maybe I'm wrong about that. We'll find out. But anyway, um, as this is my first playthrough, one of the things that I always love to do, um, like I was explaining earlier, like in Dwarf Fortress, is to at least just try to get a system going to get it implemented properly and to see everything carried out in the way that I have designed so that I know how to do it in the future if I want to. So I have this, like, trash stockpile where they're putting corpses and I have a lumber stockpile and then I have like a things that can be stored safely outside stockpile and then I've built some new interior stockpiles but I'm going to need to build something for our hunting perhaps maybe I can just use this for the time being it is kind of close by now another awesome tip that I was told is that um the material of the door actually affects how fast it opens and closes. So I probably want to be using wood doors uh, as much as possible. And so I will in the future, just because they seem to be the fastest to open and close. Probably not fire safe, probably not the strongest for defense, like maybe exterior doors. I want stronger material. But for interior doors, I don't want to mess up the flow because the doors are opening slowly. My dining room is ugly and very dirty. Great. Okay, so let's go ahead then and go to our... Let's order um, some hunting, right? And I'm going to order it, like, in a pretty big space that's around our area. And it's telling me... I'm only highlighting, like, two things right now. Let me see if I can get just a few more critters lined up. Man. Alright, no. Uh, okay. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to go hunting, and I'm going to pull it like this. Well, I don't know why it's not now selecting that guy. I, I, anyway, whatever. Let's. I'm going to select this area, okay? And this dude has just, like, got dodged by it, but maybe maybe they prioritize... I, I don't know. Anyway, I've got three things that are now selected to hunt. Okay. Now, slaughter... Um, we don't want to slaughter anything right now. I could start taming animals if I wanted, like, eggs or milk or something, I guess. Um, but right now we're good. And I'm just going to, now that I've got that set up, let's look at what else we would need. We would need to have um, a butchery table. And um, I'm going to make this... Uh, if I made it out of steel, it would take, what, 75 steel? I just like making things out of steel because it sounds awesome. Now, I could be making a huge mistake and using up steel, but I have a thousand, which seems pretty reasonable. So I'm going to put a butchery place over here um, by this, you know... corpse refuse pile. It's just a refuge pile, but they're putting corpses there. And I will enclose this. So then what we're going to do is we've got that. We're going to be like, cool, that's there. Um, and then I'll go ahead and say structure. And I want to build walls, but I'd like to... I don't mind if these are wooden walls. I really, really don't for this. Now, I can't build on this. I wonder why that is. Um, oh, because it's mud. So maybe because it's, like, muddy, you just can't build a wall on it? Is that what's going on here? Can I build a floor and then build a wall? I don't know how that works. Um, so I'm going to... I might have made a mistake then if we can't, like, you know, uh, enclose this. So this is, I'm, this is all experiment. I'm doing this right now, and it could be a huge waste. But I'm going to say this, like, build it like this, right? And then let me see if I can um, 
build a floor that is uh, like, do I need to smooth it or do I need to build like, like a foundation or something? Let me see if like, um, oh, it just, maybe the terrain doesn't support he heavy. That was the problem. Okay, can I smooth this? No. Um, huh. Okay. So, I might never be able to build on top of this mud. It's like in Monty Python when they try to build the castle in the swamp, uh, and it sinks into the swamp. Maybe, you know, I could build, like, some kind of massive wall around this. And that would be hilarious. Uh... Like, what if... Where can I build wall? Not here. Not really anywhere. You know what? Okay, it's time to just say cancel, like, all of that. Let's start this again. I'm going to build <laughs> within my means. Uh, it might mean destroying my horseshoe facility, but whatever. Let's build it down here. Actually, yeah, let's just keep expanding our, like little base. Alright, there we go. And then I'm gonna build a door here, and here, and even here. And then we're gonna go to uh, production and put a steel butcher table. Um, actually, right here is cool. That is fine. And then I'm gonna unpause it. Now, I know that they're not going to do that right now, but um, Emmy's going to finish this. Now, you guys gave me a bunch of good tips that if people aren't doing the things that I order them to do with manual priorities, it's because they just don't have the resources to do it. Not because they're just, like, protesting based on their personality or something like that. Um, that could happen if they're having a mental breakdown, perhaps, but that isn't the case at the moment. Oh, he looks like he's having a bad dream. I'm going to go to him, actually. All right, so I need to start paying more attention to some of these other tabs, like his health tab. Um, or manipulation. He's weakened because his right shoulder has a scratch. So how cool is that? I mean, don't take that the wrong way. It's not cool that my person has a scratch, but it is cool that the game records that this person is operating at less than full capacity because they have some shoulder pain. How about that? All right. Um, now, I could have them self-tend. Um, at 70% of normal efficiency, but this is at like 90-something, 90 93%, so it's not really the biggest deal in the world. Um, their needs right now, their mood is not great. And um, we need to, like, help them with something. So maybe rest will help. But beauty isn't going well. So look, right now, like, chemical hunger... So this person wants drugs and doesn't have them and is upset about that. The barracks is awful. Oh, they they don't like sharing it. Okay, this is, a, again, Dwarf Fortress. Yep, usually one of the first things I do in DF is I make my original colonists all have their own rooms. And I that's a, a yes. I need to give them their own rooms and then make the barracks exclusively for the property of, like, new recruits until we can build them a, a comfortable room. So let's try to make them some nice rooms. That will improve their mood significantly. Unsightly environment. This place is kind of unsightly. I wish I didn't have to look at all this. Yeah, so it's ugly. Um, he doesn't like being outside and his sleep was disturbed by too many people in the room. Yeah, and they're doing, like, they're cooking or playing chess or researching or whatever in the room. Or passing through to get to the pantry. I can see that. I get it. Okay, cool. All right, God, we've got a long list of things to do. All right, so. Now I have a... 
a consideration. I don't think there's Z levels in this game. I don't think, like, for example, I can build an upstairs or a downstairs. Like, I can't... Like, Dwarf Fortress is very dependent on Z level. Like, I could mine down into the earth and build structures down, 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 or even build things up, up, up. Now, you might be able to do that in this game, but I don't see that right now. And so I'm just building on the X and Y axis instead. Um, let me see if, if I can see that, uh, actually. Like, if I wanted to... Let's just say I wanted to build a wall. Right? Can I... No, I can't, like, build it. I don't see how to change sea level, so I'm not going to mess with that right now. The question is, if I want to build people individual rooms, do I want to build a separate dormitory building that's distinct from the kind of, like, common area? And probably. I mean, it might be better defensively to put it all as one unit. Maybe, eh. Yeah, I don't know. Let's try to do that. But then if it all burns down, it all burns... Well, things burn down. We've got problems on problems anyway, so... What I could do is I could build a hallway that connects. And then... Have the hallway have individual doors into each room so that people are not disturbed when people are walking through. So, for example, let's just say I started building this way, right? And then this was going to be our hallway. And then we can start to build rooms off of the hallway for each person. Now, again, you're going to really tire of me saying this, I and also of me apologizing for saying because I'll do that too but in Dwarf Fortress I believe the idea you know, like you can get away with a 3x3 three three room for most people and just put a bed something nice inside and like a chest for their belongings and a chair or an armor stand in something or something and like they're pretty legit they're pretty happy with that so I don't know what like the smallest possible room you can create in this um, that is still considered to be spacious for them and uh and it's not like overkill so let's pretend then like let's say i wanted to build like a four by four room okay like i'm gonna you know go four and then like this oh wait that that was a complete disaster um i didn't do what i meant to do all right let me try this again and then uh I, I tried to use the keybind for, like, cancel. Um, let me say, uh, structure... Oh, it was... C was the right key. I just didn't do it right. Okay, there we go. Um, so this would be a 3x3 three three room that I've created. Yeah, this, this looks good. And then, like, I can put a bed in here. And then some simple stuff. And we'll just see if they like it or not. And if they don't, then we'll make bigger rooms for them and use these smaller dormitories as, like, either the prison or a place for new recruits. Okay. We're going to build just one singular door into here. And then I'm going to go back to the wall. And we're just going to build this wall like... Oh my god, that's not the wall. Um, cancel that. Give me the wall. It is... Y. Okay, yep. There we go. And then... There, and then there. Okay, so these are three rooms. Um, actually, I'm going to cancel this. I'm not going to build anything extra at the moment. But I will continue the hallway all the way here. And then I'm going to put a door there. And a door... there and these will be interior doors so as to keep people in a position where the noise is minimal and then we're going to go into floors and we're going to say um build me a wood floor man i can't wait till well i can't wait but it'll be neat when i'm at the point when like i don't even need 
to look like I just know the key bindings. Okay. Um, and then, uh, yep, somebody explained that T was the beauty indicator. And you can just push T and kind of just mouse around to see what's going on. All right. Perfect. Um, I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to click that out. And then now we have a whole bunch that's going to be built. I will worry about the beds and stuff later. I'm going to tell Weaves, I believe, my pawn Weaves, to just do wood. Just cut wood and move wood for for quite some time. I might even put Eugene on that task as well. We need a lot of wood. A group of travelers from Eastern Delsider are passing by. Oh, perfect. This is what we want. We want more people to come by. Where is this? Show me. Paul, Marion, and Emily. Now, are they cool? Town guard. Councilman. Villager. Interesting. All right, well. Hopefully, they're here to just, like, chat it up with us or maybe join our settlement. I don't know. It doesn't... I I'm assuming the game would alert me if they had hostile intents to, like, you know, man the battlements or whatever. Emily's, like, going off on her own over here. God only knows what she's up to. These people kind of look like zombies. It's, it's definitely... There's something off. We got, like... They're undead? Vampire? I, I don't know. I do want to go check out this cool settlement that once existed, though. All right. I'm going to speed things up. Maybe I need to go greet them. Hopefully they get closer. No, they're just passing by. So maybe if I don't, like, go talk to them, they will just pass by. Let's see what happens. I don't know if they have, like, designs on coming to say hi to me or if they're just walking through my area. Oh, wait. Now what's she up to? Um, it looked like something... There was some kind of emoji that popped by her head. Let's see if I can figure out anything about her. Well, she's a baseline human, mostly unmodified by gene engineering and mostly unchanged by evolutionary pressures on non-Earth planets. Okay, then. It says she's a settler here, though. So I wonder... You know, he, he's a surgeon. Gosh, we could use all of these people. You guys want to... Let me see if... Who's my most sociable person? weaves like what's your you've got friends you're doing good but what about your like your info are you cool with people social um disabled i don't know what that means because you're sleeping three. Okay. <laughs> My people might not be the most sociable. Oh god, not the bed. The Emmy. Oh, Emmy, the sheriff needs to go talk. Okay, Emmy, can you, like, um, can I tell you that I want you shot by Emmy. What? Oh, oh, oh. I thought that meant that I have shot her. I was like, wait a minute. No, no, no. Okay. Um, I want to talk to them. Emily. Um... Uh, let's just see what happens. I'm sleeping. I don't know if I can... No, they're just going to pass through. And I don't want them to. I want to go, like, try to flag them down. I mean, can you, like... Right-click doesn't work. 
square doesn't or left click doesn't work um i feel like with the trader like something popped up where i could like go interact with them I might be missing an opportunity to interact with people. I don't know. That's my own fault, I guess. Maybe you need to build some kind of like welcoming party or committee, but. I don't know how to talk to them and maybe next time it'll work out. She's like having friends with her. She's having fun with her buddies, but maybe, maybe it is like they're just passing by and if they wanted to talk to me, then they would. All right, there they go. What? A group of dromedaries abandoned their lost have wandered into the area. They seem accustomed to human contact and are joining the colony. Yes. Dromedaries? Camels? You're giving me some camis? Look at this. This is a jackpot. So we just now got some camels. All right, we're going to need to make a whole new like area for the camels to, to dwell in. Well, I have to say that's good news. Um, I'll put it like maybe up here. Make a little farming zone. I don't even know. I don't know what camels are. Let me see with them if I can figure it out. All right. So camels, they give camel hide, of course, right? But do they do anything else? Like, um, they give you meat, but I'm not really meh on meat. I'm more like wondering, do they produce? They make milk. Yeah, so I can have camel milk. We can be all about it, maybe, with camel milk. Make camel cheeses. Just all kinds of awesome stuff. All right, so we're going to need to make them a pen, huh? Um, it wants to tell me about spoilage and freezers. This is what Manto was talking about. Most foodstuffs will spoil after a relatively short time. To prevent this, you can build a walk-in freezer. Okay. To build a freezer, construct a closed room and put one or two coolers into the wall. Set the coolers to a negative target temperature. Frozen foods won't ever spoil. Well, we're going to need to get our electricity up and running then, perhaps, to get that happening. Items left outdoors will slowly deteriorate. If you want to store items long term, keep them in a roofed room. Okay, cool. So, I did build a roof, but because it, it doesn't have walls... Um, it doesn't really slow or stop deterioration. All right, so let me go to architecture, and we're going to go to um, zone and no, no, structure. We're going to go to fence. I don't know if... That's a good question. It says some types of animals will get through a fence. I don't know if camels will. Let me see if I can see their... Uh, Like information. Um, if it tells me like a uh, fence blocked by fences. Here it is. There's just a binary. Yes, they are blocked by fences. 45 years? Man, we're going to... These camels are going to outlive us. Okay, great. Um, let's go ahead and then build some fences for some camels. Now, they need a... This pen was too small for Ludwig. And so I need to make, like, a better one for these camels. So let's try to do that by going, like, you know, 14. 
I don't know. I'm just going to do this and see if this is good. Okay. I'm pausing it. Alright, Weaves is up early and is eating a packaged survival meal. Okay, now Weaves, what you up to? Cutting a tree. Good. That is exactly what we want, Weaves. And Weaves is working on it. Just chopping them trees. Harvesting oak tree. Fantastic. Good work. Alright. Um, I'm going to need to get you on some more trees, actually. So let me go to... Um, arch Oops. Uh, boy. I don't know my keys for anything, huh? Um, architecture. <laughs> let me pause it. And then let me go to orders and um, chop wood is B. Perfect. All right. So everything inside over here. Yeah, everything by the animal pen. Just cut that down, dude. Thank you. Now, Eugene is going to be mining forever. Um, and Emmy, what are you up to? She's building the roof. Okay. So let's speed it up a little bit. And she's done with building the roof. And now she is hauling wood. Okay, you know what? I'm going to put um, Eugene. Eugene, I'm going to go to work. And we're going to work on you. Cooking is way, way up here. But I'm going to put um, hauling right now like that. Yeah, I need you to just be moving this lumber around. So hopefully he'll get to that. And what you up to now, my dude? No, oh, he's moving this corpse of the person who invaded us. Ooh, what was that? Uh-oh, she didn't like it. Oh, this guy, he keeps hitting on her, doesn't he? What happened? Let me look at that. Log. Um, Eugene pursued Emmy by describing her as a dazzling shell, and Emmy rejected the advance. Wow. That's tough. I mean, I hope Eugene can uh, put the brakes on here. Let's see. Um... Let me see what, what's going on with... Uh... Oh, she has a husband who leaves in, who lives in Delhisitor. This guy's alive? Why doesn't he come out here? Ooh, Eugene is an acquaintance. Yikes. They've had deep talks. They've crashed, they crashed together. They're, they've had chit-chat, but the negative 41 from three failed romance attempts is awkward. We're getting uncomfortable here. All right, so now she's out here building stuff. Let's get these people some separate rooms immediately. Okay, Weaves, what are you up to, my dude? Weaves is now harvesting the tree, perfect. She is hauling steel so she can build this, and Eugene is hauling. Okay, good, so we're organizing stuff. Now, Eugene isn't hauling what I want, but now he is. There we go. So now this table is done, the butcher table. And Eugene is almost done hauling everything, actually. I wish he would haul it to the construction site, but wow, she's crushing it. She's doing just tremendous work on, uh, oh, actually, let me, oh, not this, let me, go into here orders B uh, I need to get all the trees out of my construction site right oh but you can't these trees must be too young to cut down all right well anyway she's doing her best god she's just doing great work you know what I want to check her and I want to see her, um, her levels. Log, no, gear, social, bio. Her construction has gone up. It was, I think, only three. 
So she's leveling it up. Although it's not progressing as fast as I'd like. There it goes. All right, cool. All right, now Eugene is still hauling, and uh, Weaves is working here. Here come the dromedaries, just looking awesome. No, no, dromedary, not the fence. Yeah, yeah, dromy. Um, training. Social log needs health. Um, all right, we'll have to. I'll have to figure out how to milk those things at some point. And let's see here. Oh, looks like the rice is ready, and he's now hauling rice to stockpile zone three, and that means he can maybe actually start cooking. Yep, he's going to cook. I'm going to change his work really fast to. I'm going to put hauling at two. And I still want cooking as number one. Now he's cooking it up now. We're about to have some meals. Alright, this was a good day. We made a lot of progress. We are... We finished the butchery place, right? And, um... So now we can start hunting and doing butchery. And we're... Working on our... Kind of like new rooms area. The floors are coming in. Weaves is doing amazing work on all the rice. And now he's going back to the trees. Alright. Um, let's see. Eugene... P oh... She waved at him, and Eugene was like, that's the best day of my life. He's stressed. He's not doing well. Um, he does not like being rebuffed by Emmy. But, uh... Hopefully he chills out soon. What are you doing? She is relaxing socially. Cool. Yep, they said hello to each other. Drug policies. You can assign colonists to take specific drugs on a specific schedule. For example, you can make them take infection-blocking drugs regularly or drink a beer a day to stay happy. Open the Assign tab and press Manage Drug Policies button. Create a new drug policy, then you can assign this to colonists. Colonists can still take drugs, not in their policy. You can tell them what to do, but they also follow their own desires. Indeed. All right, then. Yep, and he's... Uh, let's see what's going on. So Eugene is now consuming the, the meal that he cooked. She's going to go to bed, and Weaves is cutting this tree down in the perspective hallway. Not good for their sleeping, I imagine, as he chops down a tree. Now he's going to go to sleep. Cool. I'm going to speed it up. Zoom it out. Alright. Oh, let me mark this as re learned. Okay. Oh, Eugene is awake already. Early bird gets the worm, and he's hauling now. Minor break risk. Um, uh-oh. He's of poor mood. What is bothering you? I can't do anything about the fact that, um, darkness. I've been in the dark for a while. I don't like it. Oh, well, maybe I need to put some... Oh, you know what? The dining room has no light. I should build more of these. Build a copy... Let's get some light in these rooms. Yeah, good point. There we go. Sorry about that. All 
All right, let me slow it down. Now he's upset. Are we? Can we get you into a better mood? Not really. Construction botched. I tell you what, I can't wait till I have some people who are good at construction. Oh look, Weaves just like pulled the animals in here. Now this is not going to be enough space for them, unfortunately. But at least they won't run away. Eugene, what are your skills with construction again? Oh god, there's zero or something. Oh my no. Eugene! Alright, so they're working. Eugene is playing chess against himself. I hope that makes him happier. His mood does look slightly better. Alright, I want to finish one of these rooms. This is a room, and it's cramped, impoverished, ugly, and dirty. So, that's a bad report. Um, furniture. Oh, God. Bed. Let's put some beds in there. A dresser. Yeah, let's like, let's build everybody a dresser, I guess. So they have a, a bed and a dresser. And then, I don't know. A light. There we go. Hopefully that's good. Right, let's see if we can get some of these rooms done. Weaves is making a bunch of rice. That's good. Eugene is hauling stuff. Get that rice. Good job. You know, in Dwarf Fortress, you could build bins. And when people had bins in their hand, they could carry, like, a whole bunch of items w when they were hauling. I don't know if that's an issue in this. I don't know if, like, they can just carry a bunch at a time or not. It looks like they can. Okay, what is that? Transport pod crash. A stiletto assassin named Larusa is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If she survives the impact, she will be badly wounded. She is not affiliated with any faction. You can rescue her and hope she joins freely or capture her for recruitment or slavery purposes. Oh my god. Alright, so... Uh, let's just say, Emmy, can you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is how you do it. I can right-click on her and I can say rescue her. And, um, go do that. See, I couldn't right-click on those people who are passing through, so maybe there is nothing you can do in that situation. Who knows? Or maybe it was just because I was asleep. I, I honestly don't know. Ducks join. Oh, we got some ducks? A group of ducks have wandered into our place. Okay. Well, we're getting animals to join. Um, she is now carrying... Emmy is carrying this person. Who's a stiletto assassin. Which sounds very dangerous. Ancient danger. What is this? As Emmy draws near the ancient wall, a sense of foreboding overcomes her. Uh-oh. Inside here? She isn't sure why, but she feels that the dusty structure may contain great danger. Okay. So that's why exploring is dangerous. And we are going to just... Be aware of that. Eugene is still upset. 
Give them more recreation hours per day. Oh, I can adjust their recreation? Um, schedule. Okay. Um, recreation. Let's give everybody some recreation. Let's say it like... Everybody. Take like a break at noon. And, you know... Right there. Let's, let's give them some rec. I don't know how much time they should have, but let me just program that in there. Everybody, let's chill out. I don't want no mental breakdown, Eugene. All right. We have an extra bed. Is she taking... Yep, look at that. I knew it. Extra bed. She took in the in Laura, and we'll see what happens as she recovers. Now it's time to get some food. Okay. Eugene is hauling instead of making the... Oh, wait. Did you make all the meals? Oh, my gosh. That's why there's no simple meal. Yeah, make me like 20 of these dudes. Thank you. Now I got it. That's why he's not cooking. Now he's going to go cook immediately, I bet. Yep, there he goes. Because I he made all the ones that we asked for. Perfect. Look at this. This room is done. Bedroom. Okay. Um. It's got bad stats, but we can give this to somebody, right? How do I do this? Yes, set owner. This is going to be Emmy's room. Okay, great. So hopefully she likes having her own bed. I don't know. But we'll find out. It's getting late. People are saying hi. Welfare is going up. Oh, look at this. Emmy and Weaves are playing chess. Eugene is got to be furious about this. Um, he is relaxing socially by himself. Oh, look, the camels love each other. That's good. It's 93 degrees Fahrenheit indoors. That's extremely hot. We're going to need some coolers pretty soon here, aren't we? All right. Um, and let's see. So Weaves is working on the rice. Emmy is... Ancient danger. I know. I saw this. Um, close it. Okay, good. Yes, that's good. Close. Okay. She's going to finish this. The dresser. Uh-oh. A cougar is hunting my duck? Get out of here, cougar. All right, Emmy. Um, I need to have you kill this cougar. Um, hunt that cougar now. Emmy, can you... Oh, the duck is dead. Never mind. Cancel it. Dead duck. Okay, we got another bedroom. Um, this has to be for uh, Eugene, who is about to break. Perfect. All right, terrific. So now what we're doing is we've got two bedrooms built. Um, we have potentially a new person. We'll see what happens if this person gets to health or not. We are harvesting our rice. We got some camels. We've started to build um, more onto our main structure. We have a butchery thing. We've got hunting set up. And we're just working to make this place more livable for people and learn the game. And I think this is a good place to end the episode. Everyone, again, thank you so much for all of your advice and your tips on YouTube. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day, and I will check you guys next time in Let's Play RimWorld. Take care.